This screencast is based upon Module 5, Lesson 6, where we work with multiple combined rectangular prisms to find the volume. I have a number of the homework problems uh, included with this. I put them together with the corresponding practice set pro, uh, problem uh, that is very similar to it. So I'll go through the practice set, then I'll explain the relationship and how the homework uh, problem is either similar or different. Okay, let's look at the first of uh, the examples where we have some uh, depictions of two rectangular prisms combined. Let's just take a look at what we have here. I'm going to label these A and B for the sake of uh, uh, simplicity. We can look at number uh, rectangular prism A and B. Now if we look at rectangular prism B we can see that we have the height and that's the only dimension that we have. What we'll have to do is take a look at uh, B here and we can see that the width is the same here so we have a width here of 3, and I'm going to just label that right there. We'll call that 3 centimeters. We're also missing another dimension. We're missing this dimension right here. And if we look at this, we see that the total length of B is 10 centimeters. And the distance from the edge of B to the edge of A is 6 centimeters. So we'll have to do a little math here. We have to determine that uh, 10 minus 6 equals 4 centimeters. So we can also say that this dimension here is 4 centimeters. Now that we've done that, we'll look at B and we can see that we have all our dimensions here. We have our length, we have our width, we have our height. So now we need to do some ca calculating and then we need to combine the the volume of each of these rectangular prisms. So again, sometimes we're going to have to figure things out by looking at the relationships uh, with the other rectangular prism. So let's do A. I have the dimensions of uh, 4 by 3 by 4. So we'll simply multiply 4 times 3 times 4 and I get 4 times 3 is 12, and uh, 4 times 12 is 48, and that would be centimeters cubed. Let's now find B. I have 10 by 3 by 2, and I'll multiply. 10 times 3 is 30 times 2, and that equals 60 centimeters cubed. So now what we need to do is find the sum of the two rectangular prisms volume. So we have 48 plus 60 and I get 108 centimeters cubed. Now what were my strategies? Well we'll have to explain what we did here. We had to subtract the length of the rectangle B from the distance from uh, the distance of uh, uh, how should I say, the distance from the edge of B to the edge of A. And we had to do some subtracting, so we described that in our strategies down here. And we'd also have to say that we had to look at rectangle B's width to find the bit width of rectangle A. And then, of course, we combined the two. Let's go on to the next example. Again, I'm going to label these rectangle A and B. And let's see what's missing here. Well, let's uh, start with B. We, B, we have everything, right? We have the length, we have the, we have the width, we have the height. Here, we have the length, but we don't have the height, and we don't have the width. But if we look at the representation here, we can see that the width of a is the same as the width of B. So if I look at this, I'm going to say this is equal to 3, and this is equal to 3. Therefore, uh, this and this are also equal to 3. Now if we look at the next part here, uh, what, we don't have the height. So I'm going to highlight that in blue. The height is 12. 
uh, that the height for both A and B combined. I know that this much of this is 6 because we have a 6 over here. So what do we have? We have 12 plus, or 6 plus what equals 12, or 12 minus 6 equals 6. So now we know that this dimension is 6. So again, we're going to explain that in our strategies. We'll talk about how the width of A is the same as the width of B. And we had to subtract 12 for the overall height of the combined rectangular prisms A and B and subtract the height of just B. Let's go and do the math. We have A is 8 by 3 by 6. And we have... 8 times 3 is 24, times 6, and I get one, whoops, wrong tool, I get 144, and that's meters cubed. Let's find B, and B is 10 by 3 by 6 meters, and 10 times 3 is 30, times 6 equals 180 meters cubed. Cubed. Now we need to find the combined volume of both A and B. So we'll add them. 144 plus 180 equals 4 in the 1's place. 12, regroup the 1. I get 324 meters cubed. Again, for our strategies, we just need to relate what we did here and how we compared the width of B with the width of A. Okay, uh, in this problem we have a representation, a sculpture. Uh, pictured below is made of two sizes of rectangular prisms. One size is 13 by 8 by 2. The other size measures 9 by 8 by 18. What is the volume of the total volume of the uh, structure? Uh, we need to take a look here and decide which ones are which here. We have two different measurements, and we have two different kinds of rectangles, so uh, let's just analyze this for a second. For one thing, we need a common measurement, and if I look at the representation here, the width here and the width here have to be the same. What's my common measurement? Well, I look at my two here, I see that I have an eight and an eight, so that uh, makes sense. They, they match up at, by that dimension. And we're going to have to also look at the, the representation of the shapes. We'll see that uh, this one here, these guys have a very short uh, height. And that looks like it's going to be the two. So I'm going to just separate these. And it looks like we have, uh, these are A's. And the other ones are B's. If we look at this, we have uh, how many A's? We have six A's. So we have six, and we're going to now find the volume of each one of these. So it's 13 times 8 times 2. And that equals, we'll uh, take the easy part first. I'm going to do 8 times 2 first, so 13 times... Uh, 8 times 2 is 16. We'll do a little multiplication here. 16 times 13. I get an 8. Regroup. And that becomes a 4. And we have our 16 here. And we get 208. So I have, this equals 208. How many do I have? I have 6. So 208 times 6. And we get 48. Six, uh, 12 rather. So the total of the A's is 1,248. We'll put that over there. Let's now calculate the B's. We have 2 at 9 by 8 by 18. And we can start our multiplication. Uh, 9 times 8 is 72 times 18. We'll multiply that out. 72 times 18. I get a 16. Regroup. 56 plus 1 is 57. And put in our 0. And we get 1,000.
296. We're going to have to multiply that by 2. So 1,296 times 2. And we get a 12. Regroup the 1. 18 plus 1 is 19. Regroup the 1. Four, 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. And uh, 2 times 1 is 2. So we get 2,592. Now we have to combine these. 2,592 uh, is added to 1,400. Eight or 1,248. We'll find the sum. Get a 10. Get a 14. Regroup. Get an 8. And a 3. So we end up with 3,840. 3, and the unit is inches cubed. Uh, we have another problem very similar to that with our homework. So that, I'm, I'm putting that one there. Okay, we have a planting box once again pictured below, made of two sizes of rectangular prisms. One type of prism weighs, is, excuse me, measures 3 inches by 6 inches by 14 inches. The other type measures 15 by 5 by 10. All right, and we uh, notice that this these guys here are a little bit wider than that guy there. Well, if we find, again, the one with the shortest measure, because this one, its width, or is very narrow and it's narrower than any other so we know that uh, those guys right there are, are are this one in blue so we got this one and this one are 3 by 6 by 14 so the other one must be 15 by 5 by 10 well what do we have to do well we have to find the volume of this and then we have to double it and this one the uh, other rectangle is uh, there's just one of them but we have one more complication here when we get done with finding the sum of this part here and this part here we're going to have to do something else this is what is the total volume of three such boxes so we have to find the the total volume of one box then we have to what? Well, what's the volume of three boxes? We're going to have to multiply that by three. So we have a similar sort of analysis going on here. It's a little bit simpler shape, but they add the complication of what is the total of three such boxes. So don't miss that. Okay, again, we have a pair of problems, one from the practice set on top and the one from the homework on the bottom. I'll work through the one from the practice set and I'll give you some pointers for the one from the homework. So we have the combined volume of two, two identical cubes is 128 cubic centimeters. What is the side length of each one of these cubes? We've got two cubes, and they both have the same length, so we'll just make a simple tape diagram here. And we have 128. We want to find out what half of that is. And of course, that's 128 divided by 2. And I get 64. All right. And what do we do now? Well, we know that a cube has the same length, width, and height. So we have to multiply the length times width times height to get 64. We might have to do a little guessing and checking here. So I'll, I'll go through the process. Suppose that I guess 3 times 3 times 3, and that's 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 equals 27. That's that's way too low. So let's, uh, let's try another number here. Uh, we might go a little higher. We'll do 5 times 5 times 5. That's 25 times 5 equals 125. That's too high. So we have to pick something between 3 and 5. So we'll go 4 times 4 times 4. And that is 16 times 4, which equals 64. So we found it. The length of each side is 4 centimeters. 
Now the same goes on with this one. We have once again the combined volume of two identical cubes. So we're going to look at a representation like that and change our value to 125. And once we find the the uh, the value or the volume of each one of those cubes, we're going to have to use a procedure very similar to what we did here. I think that you'll see some help in the in the uh, problem from the practice set. Again, this uh, problem is paired with one from the homework. This is the practice set one. The one on the following slide will be the homework. Uh, again, we can apply what we know from the practice set to our homework. Okay, we have two rectangular prisms have a combined uh, volume of 432 cubic feet. Prism A has half the volume of prism B. Well, let's make a little representation using tape diagrams here. If I have start with a B and I'm going to cut that into two parts and we have A here and the combined volume of those is 432 cubic feet. Well what do we have here? We have three units that equal 432. So we'll find, uh, I'm going to work down at the bottom here now, is I have one, uh, three units equals 432. So one unit equals 432 divided by 3. We'll do a little division over here. 432 divided by 3 goes in once. We subtract, go 13, goes 3 goes into 4 times, and if we get a 1, and we have 144. So 1 unit equals 144. So that 1 unit is A. We can label that 144 now. And now we have to find B, which is 2 units. So 2 units equals 144 times 2 equals 288. So we know that this one's total is 288. So what's the volume of A? Well, the answer is right there. A is 144 cubic feet, and B is 288. Now it says if prism A has the base area of 24 feet uh, squared, we need to find the height. Well, we know that uh, base times the height, the area of the base, times the height, equals the volume. And you know the volume of one, this is 144. Well, we have a division problem here. So the base times the height equals 144. We have a missing factor. So we'll do a little division. I have 144 divided by 24. And that looks like it goes in there six times. We get 144. Yep. 144. And we have six. The height equals six feet. Okay, now we have another one here. We have prism B's base is two-thirds the area of prism A. Okay, I'm going to uh, hopefully be able to move this a little bit. Get the right tool. All right. So we know that the base is two-thirds of A's. So we have to start with two-thirds. Two-thirds of 24 is the same as two-thirds times 24 equals 2 times 24 divided by 3. We'll uh, find the common factors. And we have 16 for our base. So now we'll take the base times the height, which we don't know, and equals the volume, which is 288. Well, again, we have a division problem here, don't we? So, we'll take 288 and divide it by 16. We get a 12, and 128. It looks like that is going to go in 8 times, and 16 times 8 is 128. So the base of B is 18 
18, or the height rather, is 18 feet. Okay, we're going to look at a very similar problem from your homework. Problem 5 from our homework is very similar to the previous problem. Uh, part A in particular says three rectangular prisms have a combined volume of 518 feet. Prism A has one-third the volume of prism B. Prism B and C have equal volumes. What's the volume of each prism? Let's set up a little diagram here, and I think once you see this, you should be able to solve it based upon what you saw in the previous uh, slide. So we have prism A is one-third prism B. So that means prism B is three times as long. And prism C is the same as prism B. So again, that's three units long. We have to combine all these units to make 518 cubic feet. Uh, what we have to do here is determine how many units uh, combined make this, and once we find out how many units, we can find out what one unit is, and then we can find out what three units is, and it's fairly simple to find the volume of all three of these rectangular prisms. All right, on to the last pair here. I know it's been a long presentation. A rectangular tank with a base of 24 uh, centimeters squared is filled with water and oil to a depth of 9 centimeters. The oil and water separate into two layers when the oil rises to the top. The thickness of the oil layer is 4 centimeters. What is the volume of the water? All right, so reading this, we know that our base here is 24. So if I look at, I could also say my top is 24, that surface is 24. Uh, we're talking about the bottom though, but the top and the bottom have the same dimensions. We also know that the height of this is 9 centimeters. So we have to figure out what the volume of the water is. Well, if the oil is up to 4 centimeters, we need to find out what the water is. Well, uh, again, what is uh, 4 plus what equals 9? Well, we can find that by subtracting 9 times 4, or 9 minus 4, rather, is 5. And we know that the base is uh, 24. So we know that base times the height equals volume. So our 24 times 5 equals our volume, and 24 times 5 is 120, 120 centimeters cubed. Uh, we have a very similar one for the homework. Let's take a look. And this time we have a base of 45 centimeters squared. I'm going to label that 45 centimeters squared. And the water is filled to 12 centimeters, so we know that that is 12 centimeters. We know that the height of the whole tank is 25 centimeters. So we need to find the height that's empty so far. That'll tell us how much more we need to fill it. So again, we have a total height of 25. We know that it's filled to 12. We need to figure out how much uh, the high, or how, how high this empty area is here, and of course we know our base. So apply what you learned from the previous slide, the previous problem from the practice set, and you should be able to whiz right through this problem.